Hello, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to do a comparison on which bitless bridle will work best for Trooper, whether it be a wheel hackamore or a shanked hackamore. All right, so this is the bridle we've been using. It is an orbitless, and we just don't like the way it slides around. And it's mainly because it's really nice and soft right here, but it's just not attaching. So today we're gonna try some alternatives. And this is basically a long shank hackamore. And it's got, it's got a lot more power for the stop now, the shanks on it are nearly four inches, so that adds almost 20 pounds worth of pressure. However, this one, if you look as you pull, um, has a tendency, if you pull out, that this can pull into the horse's face. Now, this has a good stop. This is better for a horse that you want to try to stop. And remember, this is more of a neck reining hackamore. Yeah, so we're looking at this and we're seeing that there's some issues. Now, remember when we're we're going to be two fingers away from this little bone right here and needs to be two fingers at least away from the eye. Now, I ideally would like it to sit right about there. And but it's not really matching up as well on the other side. So it can be adjusted and we'd make the nose piece just slightly wider. Okay, if you're going to try out any new hackamore, you need to make sure that the horse can flex laterally. And so that's going to be flexing and giving to pressure on either side. Now, there we go. Release. Now, as soon as they give, you need to give, okay? So let's see how much pressure that you need to get to get him to really give his neck. Now, let the rain flow through your fingers when you release instead of just letting go. All right. And step back a little bit to give a bigger pocket. So let's look at the hackamore from the front. Now I would like this ideally to be sitting right here. You've got two fingers and this should sit nice and flat against the face. But instead it has like these little, see how it's kind of pushing out right there and creating that gap. That's probably one of those indicators that this isn't going to be the best bit for us. Now, remember, with this type of hackamore, instead of pulling, you have to keep it straight. So see how you pulled up here? There you go. Now release. See how he came to you a little bit more? And that's how he should be stretching right there, just like that. So your hand needs to keep a straight line. Keep a straight line on that hackamore. There you go, and get him to give. A little bit bigger give each time. And that's how we truly test and how well he's gonna give to it. So he's already said, okay, I know this game. Get him to give a little bit more. There you go, he's giving but not stretching as much. So let's do it on the other side and see how it looks. Yeah, so follow the line of, there you go, good. Did you see how you keep the line straight? And he's giving really well. He's already figured out this isn't such a bad deal. All right, so there's the line, don't, ah, ah, ah. If you have this, you have to pull up, see that? Because you want to keep that line of the rein, and he's giving really nicely. Remember when you release, let the reins flow through your fingers, okay? So, Whoa. there you go, Whoa. Whoa. Pull to a stop, pull to a stop. Remember that is the basis of the one rein stop. There you go, he gave. Let the reins flow through your fingers. Very okay. good. So the next thing, anytime you're testing a bitless bridle, you need to test the backup. Now, the backup is going to be even pressure straight from the bit, okay, on either side. So each side is going to go. Now your feet need to be facing backwards. Pull, now release as soon as he gives. Pull, release pressure, release. There you go. And back, tell him to back. Back. And release. Back. You need to use your words. Now, head up. The big thing is, when you want him to take a step, I want you to look down at his feet. And he really handled that a, a whole lot better. Now, he hasn't been backing up really well off of a, a lesser pressure. Remember, this particular bridle, <laughs> we're talking about 20 pounds worth of pressure. So... 
He is backing up a whole lot better off of it, but there's still some fitting issues and that sort of thing. But that's, if you were having a problem backing off the nose, then using a shanked hackamore or one that works will add just a little bit of pressure, okay? All right, now we have basically a wheel hackamore and we like the fit of this one a whole lot better. So the wheel hackamore should be um, the nose piece should be two inches, so we've got a good two inches, and the wheel should fit like right here at the bone. So I'm really happy. We wanted at least two inches from the eye, and we have a better bit with that. Although we are a little tight back here. Um, let's look on the other side. We have a nice, it's, it's fitting in there really nice. I like that. So the overall fit, that wheel fits right there in that corner. So that really is a much better fit on his face. So of course our test is going to be, let's see how well he responds. Remember, he has to stop and you have to move with him. So whoa, really deep. He has to give to it and stop. Okay, now ask, there we go. Okay, one more time, let's see. Now watch where your hand is. Again, you're pulling out. See how you're pulling out and it's uh -huh. pushing in. So again, you just need to go up and see he responded a whole lot better when your hand goes up instead of pulling towards you. You're following the line of that hackamore. <laughs> okay, now follow the line of the hackamore and ask for the give, yes. Do on one side, do you do on the other. Remember, whoa oh. means stop. Yeah. Look at where your hand is. Your hand is way down there. Pull your hand up, 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 up. There you go. Okay. okay, ready? Now look at where your hand is and try to make a straight line. That's gonna be, there you go. Now release by opening your hand and letting it flow through your fingers, okay? Now again, the next test that we're gonna do is the backup. Now with this, remember hands need to be straight and you're gonna go intermittent pressure, pulling back and you release when he takes a step. Now release a little bit, good. Now say back and hands Need to go back each time. Ready, and Back. Back. Good. Now release. That is a much... Oh, yeah. That was a much better back. So he is responding to that, but you have to make sure it's even pressure on both sides. So there you go. Okay. So I think we have a winner with the wheel hackamore as far as fitting Trooper the best. So that's going to be the one that we are going to go for. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And if you enjoyed the video, give us a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And remember to see more, check out our playlist.